this is where her Glock gets mounted on the back. Here she is all assembled and uh, assembly was very easy. Here's the ammo box that uh, Sydney stands on and it was done in oils fully. I just put a flat matte coat on it to seal everything in. I'm going to go in there and give it a, a burned look, like a branding look here. Maybe throw some highlights in, uh, some darken in some of the areas with some uh, acrylics here and some inks but uh, I'm satisfied with it. Of course she stands on this side here. Her foot gets inserted just like that onto the box and this is what Sydney looks like, Danger Girl. After I've completed her skin tones, I'm very happy with those so far. I got to work on her eyes, her lips, and I might uh, do a little more shading there. And the other thing is I want to go ahead and re-paint uh, her jumpsuit into a black. I'm going to do the black here, uh, black hair. I may add some texturing to her hair here too, so when I go to paint it, that's going to happen here real shortly, but that's what she looks like so far. And of course she was painted with um, acrylics, base coat, Steinol Res flesh color, and the rest was done with uh, pastels and some uh, three wash system with the yellow, red, and blue washes on her face. The first time I ever tried that. So when I perfect it, I'll show you how I do that, but right now it's not perfected as far as I'm concerned. But that's what she looks like so far. And her hands are also complete. I'm pretty happy with those, the way they look. And I did use Pro Acryl to overcoat the. some of the other colors, the washes that were done, the yellow, red, and blue washes. I use Pro Acryl. First time I've used those paints before, I really like them. So I'll be back with another update. Next I went ahead and I painted the box of wood grain and I used oils for this. The oils I used was uh, Burnt Umber, Raw Umber, and Burnt Sienna. And uh, looks pretty good I think. I layered it on kind of thick so it has a, more of a darker finish to it but different tones going on here. Um, I really like how it turned out. So next I need to take in uh, take my danger girl and I'm going to do some test painting because I do want to introduce, I'm going to try a little experiment. I want to introduce a pearlized finish from Createx. This is uh, pearl magenta and I've got a couple of spoons here. I'm going to spray it on to. I want to see what it looks like over the black and versus over the gray. So I may end up having to repaint her black, but she's ready to go pretty much. So I'll show you that process. I'm going to go ahead and do test sprays with these uh, spoons. And I'm going to go ahead and do a mixture here of the uh, pearlized magenta. And I don't need much. I'm just going to
put about that amount in a mixing cup. Next I'm going to add some 411 reducer by Createx and just 10% is all that's required, 5 to 10. Mix it up. It's pretty thick. I may have added too much. And I'm going to let it sit for 15 minutes. So I'll explain what I did. I poured in a little bit of the pearlized Createx uh, pearl magenta, just a little bit in the cup because this is going to be an experiment. I'm going to test spray over the black Steinol Res versus the gray Steinol Res. And both of these spoons have been clear coated. They've been sealed. I also put in about 10% of uh, 411 reducer and uh, that was about, I put about 20 drops in there and I just wanted to get the consistency that I wanted. Now they tell you you want to let this sit for a good 10 to 15 minutes before you spray it. I'm going to spray it with my Badger 105 Patriot airbrush. It has a larger needle to it and my pressure is going to be around uh, 40 psi and I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment with a light misting coat let it dry and then I'll do the same for both and just see what they look like right now Sid she's painted in this gray but so if I don't like how the gray looks with this magenta I'll probably just go with the black if the black looks better so we'll see I'd like to have just a uh, transparent look on the black so I'm going to be spraying kind of far away to get that look. I'll be right back. Alright so ready to paint this. I'm going to be painting a little bit of a distance away. That's how that looks. I'll let those dry and I'll be right back. I like the color over the black more than I do the gray, but uh, it's not very transparent like I thought it would be. But I'm going to go ahead and put another coat on it and we'll see how that turns out. I'll be right back. Alright, one more coat for each. I do like it on the black primer. It just has more depth. Just it pops more over the black than it does with the gray. Black on the left, gray on the right. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, put one more coat on, although I like it with just two coats in this case. So I do like it sprayed over the black more than I like it with the gray. The black just makes the magenta look a lot deeper in color. But uh, there's not much difference to the eye there between the gray and the black. And that's four coats. I could go ahead and do a fifth coat. I have enough paint left to do that. But I think I'm just going to leave it as is. So I think my experiment worked good. This, uh, this paint covers very well over the Steinol Res and the sealer coat that I used. And uh, 
I think I'm going to go with it on on Sid. Even though she normally would wear a black jumpsuit, I'm changing it up a bit with this color here. So after painting up her skin tones, I decided I'm going to go ahead and uh, repaint her bodysuit a black primer. Uh, only because I like how the color turned out over the black versus the gray. So in order to do that, I want to protect her skin tones that I've already painted. And I, I still want to refine it a little more. But in order to protect her skin tones, a lot of people use um, putty. What is that called? Uh, silly putty. Uh, I like using this right here. It's a Fiber Castell uh, eraser putty. And it's very pliable. It works very well. And I'm going to use that to protect her skin tones, her face, and all that. So it goes down very, very easy. And as long as I cover all the skin tone, um, I'm happy. If I get a little, go a little overboard, I can touch that up. As far as her skin suit. Um, pretty much like that and then all her skin tones will be protected. Now remember I did seal it so this is not going to affect any of the paint uh, underneath it. Okay so I'm just going to re refine it a little bit and I'm ready to airbrush her, her bodysuit. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Go ahead and start on her leg here. Using some black Steinol Res. Oh, I think she is done. We'll let her dry, then I'm going to seal her up. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of weathering with for this box. I want to make the, the Danger Girl look a little burned. And in order to do that, I'm going to use this uh, Hex Lichten Game Air color. I'm going to thin it out really good here in the airbrush. I'm going to add a drop of Flow Improver. A couple drops went in there actually. And airbrush thinner. I put four drops in there. And of course you want to shake up your color, which I already did. And it's, uh, I'm just going to put two drops and that may be more than enough than what I need. I'm going to mix it up. And do a little bit of a test here. And get real close to it and Yeah, that's what that looks like. A little more uh, purple than what I like, so I'm probably going to apply a ink over the top. Of course, I'm going to seal it first. I'm going to put use the ink around the outside edge, but. That's what that looks like. Like I said, it looks a little purple. Um, I'm going to go ahead and seal it, and then I'm going to go in with the inks next. Cleaned out my airbrush. Uh, this is Sotar 2020, of course. 
I'm going to go in there with some uh, transparent burnt umber and I'm going to thin it out with some water. And this ink goes a long ways. And put one drop in there. And I'm going to mix it. I'm going to back flush it to mix it this time. go and it should be all set to go and that's what I want there perfect I'm gonna go around the outside Yeah, I'm not seeing much difference with this. So I'm gonna go in with a darker ink. I'll be right back. This time I'm going in with uh, transparent raw umber. And I'm just gonna go one drop. I'll do two, there we go. And I'm not gonna thin it at all. I'm going to adjust my MAC valve so I have a little, very little flow, just like that, and that should give me what I want. I'm going to go in close with it, looking pretty good actually and that looks really good and I like how that looks I'm going to highlight some of the back areas Do a little blending here. So I'll let that dry and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to do a test here, make sure everything flows like it should.
Okay, so it's dry. That looks pretty good. Let's bring her over and let's go. Yeah, so I think I'm done with it. Clear coat over this and I am done. I didn't want to go too dark with it. I didn't want to go as dark as that with it. But I'm happy with that. Heck yeah. Very nice.